Not what you mean? Well, we all gotta die by ourselves. I don't want to die for black people, nigga. So we all got to die. My mom, we all dying by ourselves. Ain't nobody gonna get in the casket with me. So that's inevitable. I don't want to die for black people. What's Charleston White's objective? See what I'm doing now. Working in my community. I'm already doing my objectives. Y'all just catching on to me. I've been doing my objective for 10 years. No, but and it's been it's and it's been successful. I'm successful in Texas doing what I do. No, but you said working for the community, but then you said you don't want to die for black people. Aren't the black I ain't people work, listen, listen, listen. I've been working in the community for 10 years. My life ain't in danger of dying. I've been working in the community with an organization called Helping Young People Excel for 10 years. I sit on death penalty and capital murder trial. Nigga, my life ain't in jeopardy. I'm very successful in working in the community. Uh, let me get the super chat. Christopher Jorne said, Fred, hot. Not Malcolm, Charleston. <laughs> Man, fuck Malcolm. And everybody, nigga, uh, nigga what y'all know about Mega Evers? Mega Evers. What yeah. you niggas know about Mega Evers? Nigga, that's, he be way colder than Malcolm. He was better than Martin. What you nigga know about Mega? Fuck Martin, Malcolm, nigga. Malcolm was doing what another man told him to do. Malcolm been following the motherfucker. When he got to jail, a motherfucker gave him a book and told him, hey, let me tell you about Elijah Mohammed. Elijah Mohammed told everybody, listen, now, Farad Mohammed say, y'all can have one woman, one wife. All y'all have one wife, but I'm going to have plenty of bitches. That's what Elijah did. Elijah had, Ed Malcolm had to have one woman. Malcolm was over there pope. His woman told him, listen, baby, they driving pretty Cadillacs and Lincolns. They that man Elijah living good, baby. See if we can get us at this roach infested house. They wouldn't even get the man nowhere to live properly. And soon as he went to telling the truth, say y'all, I think the the prophet fucking all them girls around him. Say, shut up, nigga. You can't say that. Just like at the family reunion, they know everybody. They know the one uncle in the family molesting everybody, and they keep it a secret. Everybody know he might be molesting the kids, but they keep it a secret. They all knew Elijah Mohammed was a child molester, pedophile, fucking them babies. Shh. And when Malcolm went to talking, get away from here, nigga. You talking, you better straighten up, you nigga, you talking about. So now, nah, homie, fuck that shit. Fuck Farrakhan. You niggas love Malcolm. You niggas love Farrakhan. You niggas love all these other motherfucking men more than you love your own daddy. You won't even forgive your daddy for just being absent. And that's where that's where you most your blessings is blocked because you resent your father. Most you niggas got bad relationship because you can't get past the hurt your daddy done did. Most you niggas won't even hear what your mama done said, but you go love Malcolm man. Fuck Malcolm X. Fuck you grown ass niggas that love Malcolm X, but you don't honor no other man in your family. You don't honor no other man in your family, nigga. You mean to tell me you ain't studied your family tree to see, man, fuck Malcolm, nigga. And I got, I know some more other niggas that done kill white folk. Malcolm wasn't no killer. Malcolm wasn't go kill no white people, nigga. Fred Hampton them was down with shooting it out with them Pecklewood. Malcolm them wouldn't even pack no gun, nigga. You Muslim, nigga. He might, in fact, Elijah Mohammed told you Muslim, nigga, y'all can't even pack gun. I'm a gun-packing motherfucker, nigga. So fuck Malcolm. They didn't even pack no pistol, nigga. <laughs> and he let them niggas kill him. Nigga was weak to me, homie. Can't no other man tell me a motherfucking thing. And any man sitting up listening to a mo another motherfucking man, nigga, you weak to me, nigga. That go for Malcolm X, that go for Farrakhan, and that go for you, niggas, if you listen to another man. Shit, nigga, can't nobody tell me a motherfucking thing. I got a God in me. I got a God in me. Fuck, I'm gonna listen to another motherfucker fuck. And God talk directly to me. And I can talk directly to God. You niggas got it fucked up, nigga. For real. What language what, what language does God speak? 
I don't know what mind that motherfucker speak, Nick. <laughs> Fuck like I don't know what type of language he speak. He come in thought process, Nick. No what kind of language is thought. Whatever kind of language you think in, nigga. If you yo you Chinese, your God speak Chinese. If you nigga, your God speak nigga. Mm. How you nigga put God in the box? What language God speak in? He speak in thought. Mm. What's your somebody in the chat ask? Are you a killer? Am I a killer? I started out killing dogs and cats as a kid. I started out killing and torturing dogs and cats as a child. I used to get off to killing dogs and cats. And then I started fantasizing about people. The white folks say, my medical records say, I'm homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation. That's what my mental health records read. Mike Weary the Great says, Fred, cut the line on this clown. <laughs> hey, 